Ah. Hello. Hello. Oh, we got eight already. You're all waiting. Brilliant. So, after the miserable state of my football team, I couldn't be less in the mood for this, but we're going to try and uh, get through it together. I've got my beer, which will certainly help. Charlotte, that's your call. Oh, thank you. So, it's lovely to see you all again. After, I'm not going to lie, it's been a pretty... Yes, I will do, Perrin, because I'm already needing one, so it's fine. Um, it's not been a great week, I'm not going to lie to you, <laughs> but we're here. I mean, today, I haven't put the vlog up there yet, um, so that's going to come out late again, but um, I actually had to uh, call an ambulance for one of my people I help, so that was that was fun. Uh, I was in their house for two and a half hours, I shouldn't even do that, but um, apparently, but I did it, and they're fine now, so that's good. So that's been today in a nutshell. So that's why my vlog's behind everything's behind, really. But not to worry. So, yeah, I just spent the last hour and a bit watching Norwich be absolutely humiliated. Um, so that was great. Um, so good. Good, Paul. And thank you to everyone who joined the scavenge hunt. I need more of you next week. We only we had six this week, and one of them was my son. Um, so as he's upstairs, does that really count? Probably not. So we need more next week, please. If I can get 20 on the quiz, I think I can get 10 on the scavenger, quit, uh, scavenger hunt. I have not worked out the winners yet, so I've got to do that next. So what we got? 12 minutes until the quiz, and it's going to be a long one. It's 55 questions this week. 55 questions, that's right. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, it's a long one, but we'll get through it. There's no point to wearing my shirt, Mom. doesn't work. They're just useless. Anyway. Oh, hello, Monica. You're joining in. Excellent. I think we might get up. I think we might have more than 23 this week, if we're really lucky. Now, I've just got to remind a few people to join in, because they always forget what time it starts, so bear with me. Good. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, Hello, Urban family. How are we doing? I'm just inviting people to my quiz, see if we can get a few more on this week. We're already up to 13 connected and there's still 11 minutes left. So it's looking good. As I say, as long as I can get over 10, I'm happy because that means at least you have to try a little bit to get in the top 10. Right. In case anyone doesn't know, the quiz code for tonight, because I always get asked, is 426962. That's 426962. Okay? So that's cleared that one up. I'm just reminding people, because they do forget... Oh, 15 on the quiz already. Thank you, everyone. This is looking really good. The link from Facebook, Thames, you sent in. Just click up. Okay, so there you go. The link I put on Facebook this week, I'm, I'm actually better than I realise, actually takes you straight to the quiz. So there you go. You don't even need the link anymore. Yeah. 
No, there's no picture. I forgot to put the picture up uh, this okay. week, Christine. Don't worry. What's the number? Four, four two six nine six two, uh, Tara. As Paul has just pointed out, you just click the link on Facebook. So we have got eight minutes left. And uh, does anyone know if Norwich have let any more goals in? Because that'd be great to know. You know, with that. Oh, you know what? I you know I thought karma worked. I've done all this volunteering. You know, I ran about like a headless chicken for the last three months. And I thought, you know, the least Norwich can do is win a game. They've had three weeks off, three months off. They still look bloody useless. Sorry. Anyway. What a lovely drop this is. This is, um, I'm just enjoying the end of this one. It's Roaring Meg. Um, which, if you didn't join me at seven, and I know you didn't because only one person did join in with the drinking, and that was Georgina, thank you very much. Uh, that got an eight and a half. We have breakfast, brunch, set lunch, set lunch, yeah. So, have we got all the scavenger hunters in? I think we have. So, I'm just going to work out. That's my hands. That was my hands, that was. Extra point for the injury. Yes, it is a different background, yeah. This is a Led Zeppelin um, al album cover. And yes, some intellectual books. Uh, well, the complete seasons of Buffy the Vampire Slayer on DVD. Intellectual. Paris, dinosaur hunting, science. Oh, We've got 18. My internet connection is lost. There. Oh. Sometimes things do annoy me. When you got two screens, it's quite hard for an old man like me. Right, so let's work out who won the scavenger hunt because I think we've got all the scavengers uh, on. So let's have a look. A bonus point for the So injury. Jack got one, two, three, four. Well done, Jack. Oh, Barbara Coleman's. Hello. Hello, Barbara Coleman's. My mum got one, two, three, three four, five. Paul, uh, Jack, you've lost to my mum on the scavenger hunt. Paul Gray got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six for Paul. Uh, my son Ryan, who had all this stuff available to him, got one. Uh, and Georgina, who actually... <laughs> Beer Club has started, Bournemouth Commons. It started at... Um, when did it start? Oh, yeah, here it is. started at seven. Look at my new fancy glass. I'm also using her new fancy glass. Uh, Sarah's using her new fancy glass, uh, which you got, yes. Ooh. Try how cold that is. Ah. Right, okay. So, Georgina, who was the final person to do it, got one, two, three, four, five, six. So... It's, in a, it's a tie between Georgina and Paul in six points. So if you could both let yourself be known on the live chat, I'll have to think of some uh, tiebreaker there. Just see how cold that keeps on. Okay. I know you're here, Paul. <laughs> okay. You're going to have to excuse me because as Perrin... Knows I need a wee because we have got three yes. minutes to go. I also need a beer. I also need Georgina. Yes, I know you've got a, a really bad injury, but thank you very much for taking part. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give you a. Oh, you know what? Five points each. Congratulations. Right, I'm going for a wee. So actually, just to be perfect. You might. We can say things. They don't need me to talk to them. 
Uh, hello, everybody. Yeah, busy, busy day today. Rich has been been chauffeured today. Um, his blog's not up yet, uh, but it will be shortly, I believe. I'm not moving because it means getting up and moving seats, and then I'll be in the way. So, yeah, you just got half of, half of my face. Uh, yeah, Swedish fish. Thank you. Um, jellies, uh, Swedish fish assortment. It's a fat-free food, so you know, empty calories. Uh, they are actually really, really nice. Thank you very much, Jack. He uh, dropped them off earlier on his way home. Uh, yeah. Swanky glass, another special beer tasting glass. So, sorry, putting my hand in front of the screen there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll just tell you about this next beer. This is a Brew Republic. This is another beer club Richard's joined. Uh, came this week. It's hazy, unfinished, unfiltered, drink fresh. That's what it says on the back. It is 100% mosaic hopped session IPA. Citrus and tropical fruit flavours over a soft malt body. Ooh. Sounds sexy. Uh, it's a 4.2. <laughs> so uh, pretty steady. It's uh, quite a textured can. I don't know if you can see the detail on it, but this bit is all all textured. Mm. So it doesn't slip out your hand. Describing the can. Yeah, we well, it, it, if you feel it, it's textured. Oh, oh unable to connect to chat. Great. Um, let's see if it's working. Hello. If anyone could put something in the chat, that would be great because it looks like I've lost all connection to it, which is fantastic. But we have got 16 viewers on. Do we need our, um, 17 viewers on. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll have the YouTube on the side so I can see any comments you make. We've got 21 users joining in. Um, Sarah's going to do that now for me so I can see any. You put YouTube oh, on, put my channel on. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Jordan's not joining because of Spurs. I know. Which is um, where's it going? Sorry, can't find it in my phone. We are about to start. One minute to go. Oh, there we go. Hello. You've had that shirt a while, thank you. I have had that shirt a while, um, yes. Um, hello from Perrin. Hello from Perrin. Right, 15 of you in. We are about to start. 21 on the quiz. Thank you all so much. Sarah's going to be here shouting any comments you say or anything because I've lost any connection to it for some reason. Um, that's fine because I've got it here. So that's cool. So we're all ready to go. We have 21 connected. I've said over, well, I've said over 10 and I'll carry on. Over 20, I'll definitely carry on. That's brilliant. Thank you all for joining in. Oh. Uh, these Swedish fish are awesome. Oh no! First question: Which three countries invaded Europe during the 1956 Suez Crisis? Israel, Italy, France, United Kingdom, or Spain? Which history. three? And this is the history round. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Thank you, Jack. Fish. Right. Yeah, fish. I don't have one just before. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to speak. Okay, so it was. And the answers are Israel, France, and the United Kingdom. Yep's in first. Hello, yep. Yeah. My mum's in second. Oh, my <laughs> God. William's family. And if you hadn't noticed, there's 55 questions this week. Oh, Caroline, Richard. It's going to get proper messy. Now, uh, my second beer of the night, which I'm sure my wife has showed off. Okay. <laughs> Got some gum and blue. If you do that. Question. <laughs> okay, next question. In 2004, the NASA rover Spirit landed successfully on which planet? Is it Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, or Venus? Would someone mind putting something on the chat so I can see it's still working, please? Paul was fast in there. Hello. Oh, Thank it is still Tyler. working. Thank you, Tyler. Okay. And the answer is 
<laughs> Mars. As, um, 95% of you said, of course, it was Mars. Oh, Grundy's there. Grundy. Hello, Grundy. Way! Go on, son. Um, Saturn got one person put Saturn, I believe. Each to their own, I guess. But Yep still leads the way. Christine Bombe is still in second. Oh, my goodness. You know, maybe Norwich were always going to lose tonight because my mum might win the quiz and the Matrix has to be balanced. Oh, and then Williams fell in third. Okay, next. What colour were the Pyramids of Giza originally? We know what the colour they are now. Yeah. Is it brown, white, yellow or grey? Still second. Yes, mum, I can see that. So, yeah, my first, second beer of the night I'll be tasting in a minute. It's from Brew Republic. I don't know if um, Sarah told you anything about them, but I'll be giving them a, a plug in a minute. I don't get sponsored. <laughs> oh, 20! Oh, my God, I've got 20 on the stream. I am massive. Actually massive now. Okay, and the answer is white. And 73% of you said, and my mum goes tumbling out of the top five. Shock. Okay, <laughs> yep, you're in first. And I believe that is Malcolm and Lisa. Uh, Williams family in second. Richard Sherwood in third. The Bourne McCombs in fourth. And Caroline in fifth. The usual suspects, where are they? So, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do that shameless plug in a minute. It's going too fast. You are horrible, says my mum. Well, there you go. That's my mum saying that, so she's allowed to. Okay, next question. In which year did Elizabeth II become queen? Is it 52, 54, 50 or 56? You can come sit that side. That's fine. I, I, I fact-checked this before and I've got a horrible feeling I put the wrong answer on this. Screen. So if I did... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know what the answer is because I stood outside for the Golden Jubilee. But I've got a horrible feeling I've done it wrong. Oh, no. The, oh. Tell me it's right, Sarah. It's not come up yet. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it's 1952. I thought horribly I'd put 1954. And uh, 73% if you said 1952. Who could forget the Golden Jubilee? Now, plug, Brew Republic. You'll get this on Facebook if you search for beer a lot on Google, which I do. Currently, 15, 12 beers for 15 quid, and they're all blooming amazing. But this is their own brewery, Brew Republic. So there you go. There's your cheap plug. Hope it's nice. Let's hope it's nice indeed. Okay, next question: the history round. The final question of the history round. Australia didn't gain full independence from the UK until 1986. Well, that seems wrong because that's not long ago. Adam, stop doing that. Right, so I'm just. It is a long time ago. Just pouring it out into my. Oh, is this the right glass to drink out? I don't know. Oh. I need my tasting notes. Oh, Sarah. tasting notes. So Adam, you're in the way. Oh. Of course I am. You know, it kind of feels nice at Norwich Lost, because at least my optimism isn't high. You know, I'm just settled into relegation. Hello, Monica. It's great to see you on this. And the answer is, as 30% of you said, it's true. The Australia Act of 1986 finally meant the UK could no longer legislate on any part of governance slash laws in Australia. You can look that up. I'm not lying. Which one is it? That one. Oh, uh, pint glass, I believe. Oh, well, no. Let me get you a pint glass. Uh, so, yeah, with the new beers I'm getting, I'm actually told what glass to drink out of as well. That's how arty-farty I've become. <laughs> anyway, next question. This is the uh, sport round. Do you like that pitch? It's cool, isn't it? Which football legend got sent off for a headbutt in a World Cup final? Is it Ronaldo, Bobby Moore, Marcel Desailly? Or Zinedine Zidane. Okay, back to the messages. And it, Grundy, surely you're expecting Norwich to lose. Yes, but it's always nice to be surprised. And I didn't expect us to be that bad. But we are. Unfortunately. And the answer is, my Your footballing favorite. hero, Zinedine Zidane, as a whopping 73% of you correctly put, of course, the god Zinedine. As I've said there, even after this, he remains my hero. He did have a legitimate reason for the headbutt. For a bonus five points, can you remember the reason? Okay. So that, that, look, that's a bonus question. We only wanted a night. It's all changed on the top. All changed on the top. Yep, it's still winning. But the Bournemouth Colmans are catching up. The Williams family still there. Paul and Caroline in fourth and fifth, respectively. But who can remember? Okay, which rugby league club have won the most Super League titles? Is it the Wigan Warriors, St. Helens, Leeds Rhinos, or the Bradford Bulls? So, anyway, back to the bonus question. What was the reason 
Zinedine lost it. That's five points. Just point to it so it went and we change it. Oh, you can, it's got a pen for that. Oh, that's amazing. Did you taste the oh. thing? Lee's Rhinos is 26.1% of you said, yep, still in the lead. Williams family in second, Bourne McCormans in third. Justina, well done. That's an extra five points. I can't believe that smashed it, young lady. Well done. He did insult his mother. How rude. I've got a little helper here who's going to tell me if anyone is a lead changes at all, uh, because then I'll need to really tell people, don't I? And sometimes I get carried away with beer and the such. Next, next question. What is the highest possible score in a bowling match? 300, 250, 350, 200. And please tell me if this quiz is as well balanced as last week. I think personally it's about spot on in terms of uh, difficulty, but, you know, I could be wrong. So, what is the highest possible score in a bowling match? And the answer is, get your cancer, oh, 23 again. We constantly, 23 people doing this. It's brilliant. It's 365.2% of you said. And as I've said, I am happy just to get into triple figures. Fact. So, uh, my little helper hasn't told me that Bournemouth Colmers are now leading the way. With the yeah. Williams family in second. Yep, in third, joint. but it's a joint, joint top. Oh, that's brilliant. Top Paul top. in fourth and Caroline in fifth. Sarah's to keeping around the chat. He's keeping on the leaderboard. I don't have to really hey. do anything. Adam. Adam, yeah. In which city did Paula Radcliffe, the lady who peed in the street, break the women's marathon world record? Is it New York, Amsterdam, Chicago, or London? So where did she run around? pointlessly doing whatever she did so she can get arthritic knees and ankles later in life to get break the women's marathons world record and that will cost me the taxpayer money should i be happy about that probably should as i'm currently furloughed anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh 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 more oh, hard one you see it was chicago i said when i got asked that question i went amsterdam new york and london and didn't say chicago at all so, yeah, it's a hard question. But the Bourne McColmans, the Williams family, and Yep, none of them got that right. So it's tight. It's it's the same at the top. It's tight at the top. Georgina and Monica are saying how rubbish they are. Well, it's, don't put yourself down. You know, you just need to get some encyclopedias. Give a good read. Richard Bourne, that's me, travelled from Woodall Spa to Cardiff to see Lincoln City. I love watching teams lose. Lose 5-2 to Bournemouth in the Division 3 playoff final. Division 3, as it's called then, League 2 as it is now. How long did it take to get there on a bus? Is it 5, 6, 7 or 8 hours? Extra clue for those watching on YouTube. It should take 3, and, three hours and 45 minutes. It should take. Three hours and 45 minutes in a car. How long did it take me in a bus to get from Woodall Spa to Cardiff? Eight hours, as 30% of you said. So the bus left Woodall at 7 a.m. And after a number of diversions, we arrived at the stadium at 3 p.m. Richard had needed a wee for the previous five hours. And as the game kicked up at 3 p.m., had no time to evacuate before half time. Myself and my dad literally ran to the stadium just to see Lincoln heavily lose we did not get the wrong bus we just got the wrong bus driver the bomber commons have gone into the lead and i should expect they did because let's be honest i was with my dad on that trip anyway look at that i like that picture it's the music round question 11 which pop star shot a gucci advert in st alban's chip shop I expect Jack to get lily it. allen harry styles lady gaga or, I do, or <laughs> jennifer lopez i can't say gaga oh there it is good um so, um, which one? We have got more on the live stream than ever. Thank you so much. I've never had 19 people. How crazy. Anyway, who is it? Harry Styles. Yeah, there's 43.5% of you said. I reckon when the names go flying. All right. And um, so, yeah, well done, Harry Styles, for appearing in St. Albans Chip Shop. Boss Man's entered into third. Well done. Thank you for telling me. Um, Adam, I don't know who Boss Man is, but well done, Boss Man. You're smashing it. But I don't see any of the usual winners. 
I don't like Harry Styles, Jack. Sorry. I like this. It's like Joe Wick because he has some of his comments too. What was the name of Stereophonics? Debut album, quite an easy one for you, I think. Was it performance or cocktails? Word gets around, just enough education to perform, or you've got to go there and back. They're all albums by um, Stereophonics, but what was the name of their debut album? The first album they ever released. Oh my god, I'm looking at the names as they come in, and the answer is, I don't think. Have you all got? I don't think you even all got that. Word gets around as twenty eight percent. If you said Elliot, and I think that's Elliot Grundy has entered fourth. Go on, Elliot. Bossman in third. Still no idea who that is. Williams Probably family Ryan. second. Born by Com Coleman's first. It might be Ryan actually. Um, yes, yeah, since the second album, I'm afraid their output has been on a steady decline. Yes, I'm not doing any more Are you doing any more? I don't. I can't think of any at the moment. Um, I will think of some. Who wrote the hit, I Will Always Love You? Is it Dolly Parton, Whitney Houston, Kenny Rogers, or Patsy Cline? I like Patsy Cline. I like a name. Yes, the Bourne McCon was cheering on the Grundinator. We all should be, really. I'm so, missing much of it. We're, miss, we're missing you, Grundy. Where are you? Come round for a socially distant drink. We want some of that horrible almond drink you drink. I missed that all. I actually missed that almond drink. Okay. And the answer to that one is yes. I did fox some people. Thank goodness. And 69% of you said it is Dolly Parton wrote that. And um, no real change, but Paul's creeped up to fourth. Caroline Fist still hanging in there. Where's I know on? you're there, Elliot, but get round here. I want some of that Disarano nonsense. So Dolly Parton wrote the hit. She sang the hit uh, first. And then Whitney Houston stole all the glory. I don't know who put Kenny Rogers. I'm hoping it isn't actually Kenny Rogers now because that seems like the choice of someone who knows what they're talking about. Jack says his score is too low. Uh, in the Beatles song Penny Lane, who keeps a portrait of the Queen in his pocket? The barber, the banker, the nurse or the fireman? Jack, Jack Bartley reckons there's something wrong with the scoring system. No, Jack, there's just something wrong with you. Pass his finger first. Pass his finger first. It's actually, I've just realised, two members of the Broken Alternatives a great... Uh, mid noughties uh, pump, uh, I say, punk band are actually in attendance on YouTube today. Was it uh, was it the mid tens? I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't remember now. It's the fireman. Was twenty seven percent of you said Richard Starkey? Great. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got Jack Bartley and George Coleman. So yeah, bring back the Broken Alternatives, please. We missed them. Yes, they were a great band, Elliot Grundy. Born by Coleman's are in first. The boss man is in second. Williams family in third. Paul oh. in fourth. Caroline in fifth. Where are the really? normals? Where are the people we... You know, where's Sharon? Is where's she, yet? I don't think Sharon's doing it this week. She hasn't commented on anything, which is quite sad. Question. The Adelphi is a small club in Hull with a capacity of 200, which I used to visit frequently. Which of the following bands has appeared there? Radiohead, Blur, Oasis, Stone Roses or Pulp? It's more than it, one. it is definitely more than one. Is it all five? Is it four or three? So I used to go there when I was at uni and drink watery pints of Worthington's for about a pound. Tyler is questioning you. No, it was word gets around. I've got them all. That might have been their EP, Tyler. Um, so yeah, Radiohead, Oasis, Stone Roses and Pulp. Um, all frequented the Adelphi. The toilet stunk. As I say, the beer was watery, but what a wonderful place it was. And I think I saw the cribs there. If anyone's heard of the cribs, probably not. But they got went up to be quite massive. Um, someone else, I think it was the Kaiser Chiefs there as well. Uh, okay, I think there's about 10 of us there. Oh, those are the days. Where is Leeds Castle? We're on to geography. Is it Cambridge, Lancashire, Kent or Yorkshire? Where is Leeds Castle? Well, Leeds. Leeds is in Yorkshire, isn't it? So that's an easy, isn't it? Given. Given. It's a given. Oh, my God. Jack and George are talking on here. That me The broken alternatives are getting back together. Where is Damien? And then we'll be sorted. Hmm. It literally looks like Wee Wee, but it's so nice. And it's about the same. And the answer is Kent. Can you believe it? As 69% of you correctly said. 
The Bournemouth Coleman's lead the way by quite a way. Bossman in second, Paul in third, Williams family fourth, Caroline in fifth. Can um, if just Billsby Herbmans and uh, the other Herbmans, the uh, Herbmans who very kindly, um, well, I'll, I'll bring that up next time. But where are the Herbmans? Are they on the chat? I think they are. And if they are, where are they on the leaderboard? I'd love to know because usually they are. Richard. Which three colours make up the Dutch flag? It wasn't rude. Orange, red, white, blue, or green. I, I'm not going to do it. Give rude. them a bird. No, there. I saw the Spilsby Herbans flash through then, so they're definitely with us. So, so which Helen three colours make up the Dutch flag? Moggy. Oh, the Herbans, they are here. They're just not here. They're not in the top five. Top five. It's a shame. And the answer is red, white, and blue, not orange. I always thought orange was the red, but it isn't. Red is the red. It's uh, because they play in orange. Yes, of course they do. Quick shout out to, uh, yes, the Grimsby Herbans, who really upped it today and sent me 24 cans of um, brew dog. Wow. Why? I don't, I don't, do not deserve that, but thank you so much. That'll keep me going at least a couple of days. So that's really good of you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Couple of days. <laughs> right. What, oh, which is Europe's, here. which Euro, is Europe's most southerly capital city? Is it Rome, Lisbon, Madrid, or Nicosia? Jack Pado has appeared on the leaderboard in fifth. Bossman is first. I still don't know who Bossman is. I think it's my son. Who's upstairs? I do hope he hasn't been cheating because this would throw the whole thing into disrepute. Oh, Monica. I know Monica's there. there. She's 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 even been on the chat, Monica. She's all up to date with this tech. Ooh, oh, fruit snakes there as well. Um, and the answer is Nicosia, and Bossman has taken the lead. Paul has climbed to second. The Bourne McCormans have travelled to third. But Phil Muggerson, my old man, even at being so disgusted by Norwich today has climbed up to fit anything to forget that result phil anything to forget a pathetic lockdown relegation join in get drunk let's just get over it shall we because we're down so let's accept it let's turn off the football and just enjoy life which train station is the busiest in the uk is it london waterloo king's cross st pancreas or is it piccadilly underground station Adam's whispering me answers. I can't tell him if he's right or not, because therefore that would give it away. Sarah's now shaking her head at what he said. Well, you can't see me. And the answer is London Waterloo, which is 34.8% of you said. Paul has climbed up right. to second, just behind the boss man. Borma Coleman's in third, the Williams family in fourth, and Muggerson in fifth. Yeah, I thought it was King's Cross. It's not. Bonus question coming up, and there is a pictorial clue. Pictorial clue. But the only to people who actually watch the scavenger hunt will actually um, be in, be able to see that pictorial clue. So it pays to do the scavenger hunt. Anyway, next next question. The final question in the geography round. The Khyber Pass joins which two countries? Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, Iran, or Uzbekistan? And the bonus question is, Sarah, can you put your hand up there? That's it. How many seasons of one of my series, if we're English, of there, oh, were yeah. there um, of, of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? One of my favourite shows ever. Mostly because Paul from Skinner says five. It's not. Afghanistan and Pakistan uh, is correct, as 31% of you said. Five. Paul from Skinner. No, put your hand there. Um, thank you. This is for five Vic points. Vic said seven. Vic is bang on. Well done, Vic. And you need the points today. Oh, Tyler said seven as well. Tyler, too late. It is seven. Fantastic. Williams family is still in top five, though. With them, um, Scout's not being on at the moment. I don't get to watch all my rubbish when Sarah's out. So I've hardly watched any of Buffy in a while. Which fast food franchise has the largest number of restaurants in the world? So we're on to food and drink now. Is it KFC, Subway, McDonald's or Burger King? Now, extra tip for those watching on YouTube, and I always say it pays to do both. I wouldn't have expected this. I would not have expected this. But think about it. Think how many they are in this town alone. Yeah, put me some wine in there. 
Wine beaker. Little fridge. About half wine. So yeah, think how many. Yes, and the answer as thirty nine percent of you said is Subway, because if you think about it, there mm -hmm. are two in Skegness, and then there's a one in Ingemel, so that's three in the area. Um, and like because nice. they've all grown up in the spa, well, there's 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 three because there's one in Winthorpe, which kind of counts as Skegness. So there's loads of them. So yeah, it is Subway because they've all grown into those garages and everything as well, isn't it? So if you think about it. It's Subway. Of course it is. Everyone loves sarnies, don't they? No. The British person loves a sarnie. Which vegetable is sometimes referred to as Italian asparagus? Is it Savoy cabbage, green bean, broccoli, or cauliflower? See, not too many stupid oh, questions this week, um, which is nice, I suppose, you know. Um, Ooh, and Boss Van still leads the way. Paul in second. The Bourne McCall was in third. The Williams family in fourth. And Phil Muggerson. He's still in fifth. Come on, Phil. Even though we're way past the sport round now, are you still smashing it? And the answer, as 45% of you said, is, of course, broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, the Bournemouth Commons have taken the lead. Bossman, I've still no idea who that is. I think it might be my son in second. Paul in third. William Stanley in fourth. And Phil Muggerson in fifth. Same number. Tied. Same. Yeah, tied for third. Sorry. <laughs> We'll get home to get your beer as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, that beer is so good. I've nearly, it's nearly gone. Keeping on the Italian them. Well, great English, Richard. What type of pasta has the name meaning little worms? Tagliatelle, spaghetti, vermicelli, linguine. Little known fact, when I did my first quiz a whopping eight weeks ago, I thought my quiz did the questions for you and therefore thought it'd be a piece of piddle. Didn't realise it would take a good three or four hours to do this. And that's why you'll often see... The odd spelling mistake. Yes, I know you write all the questions for me, Sarah. You just type them in. I just type them in. Yeah, you know, I just take the glory. That's all I'm about, isn't it? And the answer, as most of you got, is vermicelli, those little twiddly worms. And the Bournemouth Coleman still lead by one point from Bossman. And my daughter's back. Hello, Charlotte. Oh, it's been nothing. Have you put a replacement in? Yes, I am finished, Sarah. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, not too bad, actually. She's not ran my whole battery down, which is nice. Anyway, <laughs> next question on the on the well, food and drink questions. Um, if you could maybe put some comments on, because now my wife can see all about that glory. I am, yeah. Uh, hence the team I support. Which pastry is used to make baklava? Filo, flaky, short crust, suet. If you could put in the comments about how you're doing, what position are you in? I know okay, all I can see is the top five. I'd love to know how everyone's doing. Oh yeah, ma'am. Can I? Can I come, just come? No, uh, after the quiz. Talk to you for a Charlotte wants to talk to her mum for a second. So I'm going to keep talking in case what she wants to say is something weird. Um, so which pastry is used to make baklava? And the answer is Filo, as a whopping 69.6% .6 of you said. Um, let's see how people are doing. Um, Christine Vaughan has got 50. My goodness, that's a new low, mum, because you had, you had 22 after two questions. Paul from Sanders is sat on the sofa. Um, Christy's got 55 now. But I'd love to know how the rest of you are doing. What position are you in? How are you doing? How are you enjoying the quiz? Is it well balanced? Am I doing a good job? Tell me, please. Oh. Feedback is what I require. A Swedish fish. Which <laughs> cheese is the most expensive in the world? Is it White Stilton, Stinking Bishop, Dare, <laughs> Dare, Lee? <laughs> no, I think it's Dare Lee? Or Huel? 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 And he oh. says he's not doing bad. What is that? Who's just fart? Who's just farted or burped? I can just uh, probably. I can smell Doritos. I don't think it's me. Do you smell Doritos? Yeah, I did. I got that a right whiff. Wow. <laughs> Which like cheese is the most expensive? Thank you. So if you the answer as seventy-eight percent of you said it's pure. I'd never heard well, of it. Actually... Sounds horrible. Really... Has anyone had any pure before? Let me know. Paul, who I think is oh, always he's, there and thereabouts. I know you're doing bad, Elliot, because you're not in the top five. Paul is in first, Paul becomes in second, the boss joint. man is in third. It's a joint at the top. And Muggerson has climbed his way up to fourth. The Williams family in fifth. Film round. Okay, film round. Which film was the first to be recognised as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is it Blade, 
Iron Man, Captain America, Incredible Hulk, or Thor. I'm really from two massive sweets. I'm doing this, but see, this is Neil's round, but it's I'm not, not here. professional. No, I don't think Sharon and Neil are here. This is a shame. Which is a shame. Yeah. Mm. And the answer is Iron Man, as sixty point nine percent of you said. Well oh, done. It's not no, it isn't. Christine needs a new brain. Uh, Paul is first. Paul McCovers is second. Bossman is third. Phil Muslim in fourth. And the Williams family in fifth. My teenage son just shouted, it's the Hulk from up down below. Upstairs. Upstairs, sorry. That's complete nonsense. It's Iron Man. I have the box set right there. And they actually mention Iron Man at the end of, of Incredible Hulk, don't they? Yes. 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 What kind of breed is Wallace's best friend, oh, Gromit? Is it Labrador, Beagle, Corgi or Sausage Dog? What breed he's pretty long, so I think is he's a Gromit? Dog. Adam reckons he's a sausage dog. He is pretty long. He's giving you tips. Is it a sausage dog? Is it a sausage dog? I don't think dog? you can see with that hair. Right, oh, it might kill me. You never know. Ooh, Where's yeah. the Swedish oh. fish? Uh. Oh, what's this? <laughs> 69% of you said Beagle. The reason I'm laughing, I don't know if any of you got comments on, is that my friend Paul Gray from Swing has said, why are tiny starts closed, not creased? Really? Because he has an iron man. <laughs> <laughs> Muggy's into third. Muggy's is into third. Paul in first. Bourne McCormick's in second. William Family in fourth. Bossman in fifth. Dame Maggie Smith played which charge? Played which charge? <laughs> what the hell? Character. <laughs> played which character in the Harry Potter film series? Oh, look at you not watching this stream. That makes no sense. Is it Minerva McGonagall? Is it Dolores Umbridge, Sybil Trelawney, or Pomona Sprout? <laughs> which charge did they play? Which charge? I did do this on Sunday when I was very hungover, so... <laughs> No excuse. It is an excuse, and that's what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Despite my awful English, 78% yeah. of you got that right. It is Minerva McGonagall. Paul McCormick's in first, Paul in second, <laughs> Williams family third, Bossman in fourth, oh. Phil Muggerson in fifth. Later. Later, and Charlotte, I need a beer. Okay. What happened there? Uh, not Dead Pony Club and not... Um, that hazy fuzz one. What There's a bottle in the fridge. Do you want the bottle? Yeah, the bottle's fine. Okay, next question. Which year was Daniel Craig's... And replace it, remember, was Daniel Craig's first Bond film released? Uh, 2004, 2007, 2006, or 2005? So Daniel, first, Daniel Craig's first Bond film, which was Casino Royale, was which... <sighs> was released in which year? We've got a whole 43 minutes without kids arguing. I can't give you any more than that. Um, and the Bournemouth Commons say that she's her favourite charge. Thank you for that. Um, it was 2006 when uh, Casino Royale was released. To critical acclaim, and if you'd watched my Bond series, you'd know what I thought of that. But I bet none of you have watched my uh, complete ranking of the Bond series on my YouTube channel. Go on, be honest. Have any of you watched it? Go on, tell me in the comments. She's putting the hops in. No, not that one. That's the Dead Pony Club. Yes, the Hobson needs to go in. Oh, that's the Dead Pony Club. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Christine's watched it. Oh, dear. What is the title of the 2006 book about Hannibal Lecter? Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Rising, or Red Dragon? Um, can I sing the theme tune? You know my name. You know my name. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> one trick pony or fuzzy recall, Dad? Not fuzzy recall, the other one. One trick pony. <sighs> no, the other one. <laughs> and <laughs> Hannibal Rising has forty three percent. I wanted to talk about the excellent science of lambs with you. I wanted to talk about Red Dragon. I wanted to talk about Hannibal, which is an unappreciated sequel. And all I've got is people shouting beers at me and telling me to sing terrible songs. Hannibal Rising was a 2006 book, which was a prequel, in fact, to Silence of the Lambs, 
And let me tell you, a very unappreciated uh, film, because I really enjoyed it. Um, hi, I'm not Charlotte. sure if anyone's seen hi. that. If you have, great. Someone let me know. Said hi, Charlotte. Oh, what, what is the name of the radiation hi, hi, hi. zone that surrounds the Earth? Is it's it the ozone hard. layer, the troposphere, the mesosphere, or the Van Allen belt? Tyler okay, we are on to science. Tyler, Charlotte says hi too, but she's too busy eating Swedish fish. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> Back no, it's to the sweets. beer, anyway. Let me just check what um, I'm supposed to be drinking this out of. Oh, yes, a fancy dancy glass. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> the answer is the Van Allen belt, as 39% of you said. The Bomber <laughs> Commons are in first. <laughs> Second is Phil Muggerson. Paul is in third. The Williams family in fourth. The Boss Man in fifth. So, next drink on Bomber's Beer Club. On the train is one trick pony, which is a rose lemonade sour. Ooh, that is red. That is, look at that. That's a beer. Look at the colour of it. That's pink. No, pink. That's like a red. And um, so she's reached 100. Which element is number one on the periodic table? Is it hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, or helium? Sorry, I was so busy doing that, I didn't tell you the answer. It's Van Allen Belt. And you're on potluck. Oh, it's science. It's science. Is it you that smells of Doritos or is it Adam? I think they're Adam. I think someone's anyway. eating them when they go in the uh, the, the, the um, kitchen. Monica says she's reached 100 and uh, Jack wants to know who is last. I don't know, Jack. I can't tell you. I, I, can't, I can't tell you. And the answer is hydrogen. 73% uh, of you said, well done. Who well, is, I, I yeah, if someone that. could tell me who is 23rd. If they are watching the stream, they know. They might not want to admit it, of course. If anyone could tell me how on myquiz.org you can see the whole leaderboard, that'd be great. If someone could Google it while they're watching this, and that'd be great because I have no idea. The Born Becomers in first, Paul and Muggerson in joint second, the Williams family in fourth, the Boss Man in fifth. Still don't know who Boss Man is. Okay, what is the lightest metal? And now this is based on a standard setting. It's based on a standard setting. So this is from Google, from various means, the standard setting. Is it mercury, is magnesium, lithium, or titanium? Sorry. Which is the lightest metal? Wow. Oh, yes. Dad, can I have the last two Swedish fish? Yes, you're going to last two Swedish fish. Yeah. And the answer is... Lithium. Mm. And as I said, this is the lightest metal based on a pure element. So, mm. there you go. Oh, my goodness. Smell that, Sarah. Ooh. Okay. So, the Bournemouth Commons still lead, but it's still so tight at the top. This is my kind of quiz. I think oh. that means I've done well because... Oh, it tastes like Turkish delight. Tastes like Turkish delight. Let Adam have a go. Adam's waiting. Bossman is Ryan. I know Bossman is Ryan. Which frozen gas forms dry ice? Is it nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, or methane? That methane will be going off a lot tomorrow, as I made that joke last week. So it's not the same. No, You're don't right. Like I don't like that. It's not that bad. Well, I don't like to. You'll like it. Vicar'd like that if you drink it. Oh my. <laughs> what a drink That's that is. Not... Oh. I'm not gonna. Oh, it looks oh. very sick. The answer is oh. sweet, isn't it? carbon dioxide, as 72% of you said. Oh. And the Bourne Bacalmas are in first, but they, it's so tight. Paul is three points behind the Williams family in third, oh. Phil Muggerson in fourth, and the Boss Man in fifth. This is a completely different leaderboard to what we used to see, and this is great. I don't know if that means this has been a great quiz, a bad quiz, or whatever, oh, but I think it means one. we've had ups What's and downs. That was a session IPA called Mosaic. Yeah. I'll be reviewing okay. them all on the Bournemouth Beer Club at nine. Just put them to one side because he needs the cans. Okay, next question. According to Richard Bournemouth's old oh. physics teacher, oh. which of these is a work of the devil? Significant figures, chemical reactions, fractions, or decimal places? This is very much for the herdmen, so I've told this story to many, many times. So, so, uh, according to Richard Bournemouth. maths with Adam, all of them. Yeah, mm. very much. On Richard Bournemouth's old physics teacher, which of these is a work of the devil? And the answer is, and you probably won't guess this, to be fair, if you don't know me, is um, 
as 22 percent of you said it's decimal places uh so yeah that's purely for the old grammar school boys no apolog no apologies necessary um and i'll tell you i once put on his board <laughs> 0.25 to two decimal places. Monica got that. She listens to you, obviously. To two decimal places, and he put a W and an anchor sign on the board. That's why teacher did that. That's what he called me live in a lesson. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next question. It's the Disney round, which went so well last week, but Sharon isn't here. Which Disney character talks to mice for most of the film? Cinderella, Snow White, Aurora, or Mulan? <clears throat> Monica got the one about decimal places. That's really worrying how much you listen to me at work. Really quite worrying because I just <laughs> waffle constantly. Love yeah, Herman got it. Of course, if you didn't get it, I'd be shocked. Um, Phil Muggerson's in the lead. Oh, my. Uh, and the answer is Cinderella, crazy old weirdo, spoke to um, mice for most of the film. Mental, isn't it? Why did she do that? They're not, they can't talk. I thought it was the guy from Ratatouille. No, no they are all mice. Yes, but that, that she, he wasn't included in there. Anyway, he so the Bourne McCollmans are in first, Muggerson in second, Paul in third, a Williams family in fourth, a Boss Man in fifth. I'm not going to lie to you, there's not going to be as many bonus questions tonight, but no one with the bonus questions are anywhere near the top this week. What is the name of the dog in Up? Oh, Doug, Patch, Peg, or I Tom? Even, I you don't know this. Answer. You don't know this. No, oh, I've never I love... watched it. Well, you can't it makes watch me it cry. at the moment. Exactly. She, Sarah cries at anything. Sarah cries at anyone crying. So if you want Sarah to cry, just cry at her and she'll instantly cry. It doesn't matter I what you're crying even, at. Don't even have to know you. You could be yeah. crying at the bottom of a Doritos pack and she will cry. <laughs> okay, next. Empathetic. And the answer is <gasps> Doug. As wow, these questions are too easy on the Disney round. 87% of you got that right. Okay. Uh, Bourne McCollmans are in first, Paul in second, the Williams family in third. Phil Muggerson is still there in fourth, despite Disney questions, which are you know, I'm not suggesting that Phil Muggerson doesn't like Disney films, I'm suggesting it might just not be his he only expertise. Up with his nieces. Exactly, you know, has a place okay. for them, and he doesn't know the place for them in a quiz. Uh, but he's still doing well, he's still fourth. There is Three points separating the top four. What are the names of the Hades henchmen in Hercules? There's two of these. I don't I'm going to yeah, let you know. Though. Agony, pain, agony, or panic. I've put agony twice there. If you if you read between the lines, <laughs> you should know the answer. <laughs> Oh, no. it's agony, all going pain, wrong. Agony, it's all panic. going wrong now, isn't Whoa. it? It's all going... As long as I mean, as long if... as I don't get any questions actually answers wrong, Press, then I suppose uh, I shouldn't. Agony and agony. It's pain and panic. Who put agony and agony? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you can just press <laughs> <both of> agony. <laughs> was in first, and they are saying it's a very good quiz. But of course, they'd say that they are winning. The Williams family in second, Paul in third, Muggerson in fourth, the boss man in fifth. I am very sorry to anyone who chose agony there, but I can't do anything about my Sunset Sunday hangovers. They're just always going to be there as long as Bournemouth's club's going to be there. And Bournemouth's beer club ain't going anywhere. In Wreck-It Ralph, what is the name of the game to which Benelope von Sweets belongs? Fix-It Felix, Cyborg Justice, Sugar Rush and Mario Kart. One of them wasn't even in the film. But three of them games did feature in the film. Mm. But I want to know which one Vanellope von Sweets plied her trade. It's Vanellope, not Vanellope. Well, it's Vanellope. No, <laughs> Loving the Disney questions, says well, George. Yeah, I know. This was for your friend, Georgina. Where is she? Can you find out, please, and tell her off? 69% of, <laughs> 69% of you said Sugar Rush. Well done. The Bournemouth Commons still in the lead. Phil Muggerson, despite hardly getting any points in this round, is still hanging on in fourth. The Williams family in second. Paul in third. And Boss Man, still there. Who is Boss Man? It's Ryan upstairs. I know it's, it's Ryan. Ryan upstairs. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's doing really bad to say uh, he tested the first 20 questions on him. In which state was Lilo and Stitch set? Florida? Hawaii? South Carolina or California. Now, I did a bit of Googling. Every one of these states feature incredible beaches uh, and seas. So it could be any of them. 
<laughs> I do actually do quite a lot of work. Well, my wife does most of the work. But, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's quite a lot of work, this. So, you know. Mm. We've got another quiz tomorrow, actually, from another chap. I'll tell you about that at the end. Who's that? Who uh, so, that? in which state was Lila and Stitch set? It is Hawaii, is 91% to be said. Ahana means family. I don't... What's that got to do with anything? Georgina doesn't know where they are tonight. Well, that's no good to me. Forgot what day it is. I think Georgina's forgot what day it is. No, Sharon. Well, I'm just saying Georgina has because she drank too much wine. Anyway, next question. Um, question oh, 41 on this massive Bournemouth quiz. I'm not going to promise you 55 questions every week. This is a long quiz. It is the back to school round. Whoa. Ryan Hove Albion's goalkeeper played for just three minutes and 14 seconds before he was injured. How many seconds is this in total? Is it 164, 174, 124, or 194? This is a year six question. Genuine this week. Yeah, year this six is question. a year six question. I do hope I've got, I had to amend one of these. So much fun. <laughs> and the answer mm. is 194, as 82% of you said. I am starting off easy. Yes, I am. Uh, but they will get horrendous by the end of it, to the point at which I couldn't almost answer one in 30 seconds. So, Charlotte, will you sit Just down, question. please? Just guess. Well, I can't. Well, stand still, then, please. Okay, Next trying. question. Oh, yeah. I'm worried about Georgina's state of mind in this round. I really am. But I'm I sure she'll be fine. Be if angle A is 26 degrees... What is angle X? Is it 26 degrees? Is it 154 degrees? 334 degrees? Or 184 degrees? This is one of Adam's questions. This is an Adam question. So he is year three in secondary schools. Because I don't yeah, I don't understand all this year nine nonsense. He's third year. No, he's not. <laughs> so much wine. The wine's gone. <laughs> the wine... Box. It's me. And the answer is okay. as fifty six point five percent of you said one hundred and fifty four degrees. Again, they're getting harder. They're getting harder, and I can see why people would put three hundred thirty four. And I can also see why uh, people put twenty six degrees because they are parallel lines, but it's the opposite side of that parallel line. Yeah, the line in the middle isn't. Straight. The arrows mean it's parallel. Yes, the arrows mean it's parallel. I, know. I just thought I'd explain a bit. I've okay, next question. Week. Calculate the below fraction in its simplest oh. form. Is it 28 30 fifths, hey, 30 that. 30 fifths, <laughs> 26 30 fifths, or 24 30 fifths? I think two people guessed there. <laughs> I think two people guessed there because it's a hard question. Jack and Georgina Sanderson stuck. Uh, Be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> it's me you or guessed. Me. You guessed. I'm pretty sure it's B or C. And the answer is... is, this it... is oh, that, so, oh, is yeah. 26 35ths. And <laughs> Ryan got it wrong. <laughs> told you they got harder. <laughs> and I worked that out of my head just before I started to check I was right, and I was. I told you it was B or C. Christine got that right. Go on, Mom. Well done. <gasps> George, of course she guessed, she says. Well, you, you can even just have a think about it. Just to reassure George, Ryan got that wrong. Expand 3B bracket 4 minus 2X bracket. Expand it. Go on. Just have a think how you do that. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So... No, which one is this one? <laughs> I think they're a bit too one? hard, aren't they? No, which is this one? It's white wine, Charlotte. It's white wine. Which kind of Why is he yelling? Is Why is our son yelling? He's in the kitchen. I don't know. I have no clue. He's yelling. And the answer got it wrong. is. As a whopping 65% of you said, 12B minus 6BX. Well done. And Vic has appeared on the leaderboard. No thinking for me. <laughs> Just guess it. Just click anything, eh? So, yeah, well, the, Bournemouth the Coleman's in first, second, the Williams family, Paul in third, the Bossman in fourth, and Vic in fifth. So we only have six questions left, and it's still so tight. Any of those top five could win it. 
What is the Roman Roman Roman? What's the Roman numeral? What's the Roman numeral for fifty? L C X V. No, this is back to year. No, this is the last back yeah, simple question. Yeah, it was year five or six. Comment. Year five question maybe. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Know. I think it's year five. Mm -hmm. My mum got the maths questions all right. Ooh, she can come. Shame and teach on Adam. everyone else who got them she wrong. She can come and teach Adam. She can come and teach Adam exactly. Please. <laughs> we are entering the. Oh, actually, we're entering the final ten questions. I forgot. I've got fifty-five today. You forgot how many questions you've got. Well sixty percent. Sixty-nine percent of you got that right. It was L. The Ooh, born the commons in first, Williams family in second, Paul in third, Bossman in fourth, Vic in fifth. We are mm -hmm. on to the next round, which is the picture round. And there's some really quite Ooh, zany questions. Sure. I don't know zany, it's not used enough. Zany questions in this round. Okay. Zany. Question you 40. See if we do look zany. Yeah. Great point. What musical is this from? Sound and Music, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Oklahoma or West Side Story. She won a prize for maths. She can Adam wants you to come um, teach him maths. High school musical. <laughs> it isn't high school musical. It is. So what musical is this from? I think it's um that. Sorry. Charlotte. Charlotte just gave everyone the answer. Well, no, there. She pointed to A no, and Charlotte, said B. Yeah, Charlotte gave everyone the answers there. <laughs> so don't if you don't listen to her, please. Sorry. <laughs> I do hope that Vicky is singing it. Of course she is. Is it less miserable? <laughs> <laughs> Bless your beautiful hide. There you go, Vic. That's all you're getting. Um, Sixty-nine percent of you got that right. It is seven brides for seven brothers, and it's not a shock to me <laughs> that <laughs> Mark's seen the musical. Brilliant, Monica. That, it, it's brilliant because the men just literally grab the women in it. It's so politically correct. It's brilliant. Get incorrect. watching. Incorrect. No, it's politically correct, Sarah. <laughs> well, which Greg, which Greg's pasty is this? Is it a normal sausage roll or is it a vegan sausage roll? Is it a nice sausage roll or is it a really horrible sausage roll? That. Shh. Uh, <laughs> you tell me which which is this? Would I eat that? Yeah. Or would I not eat that? I'm gonna let you do this. I don't think he would eat it. He'd eat anything. He has eaten that. Yeah, but it's many times. Good. That's the other one, though. Oh, wow, that is a beer and a half. That is okay. And the answer uh, is, as a hundred percent of you said, a vegan wow. sausage roll. You can Do tell you by the look of the uh, the top. Well done, roll. everyone. I like a hundred percent answer now. Orange, and, not and the Bourne becomes still lead by 20 points, but there's still a lot of points on offer. Paul in second, Williams family in third, Boss Man in fourth, Vic in fifth, first Phil Muggerson come. Oh, and Monica, you keep the... commenting. How many points have you got? Because I'd love to know right now how many points you've got. Um, uh, question 48. What would you do with this? Straighten your hair, colour your hair, curl your hair or dry your hair. What would you do with that? One, seven, one. One, seven. Well, Monica, you're doing all right. You're nearly top in the ten. top top <laughs> ten at least. Curl I should think. your hair, maybe. I have no clue what it is. Wait a sec, That's me... the point, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with that? Where's our cat? She'd tell you. Um, I think he would. And the answer is, you would dry your hair, as a smashing 91% of you said. The Bournemouth Commons still lead. Paul in second. Williams family in third. Boss man in fourth, Vic you in fifth. But I that. still suggest oh, and then you were. there could be a change of leadership, especially when we get to potluck, because there's some hard questions in potluck. Ooh, hard questions in potluck. Mm. Well, let's show a beautiful mm. hide where it makes me think about that. Let's stop all these dreams. Uh, what is this <laughs> painting called? Is it called Amish Farm? Daughters of a Revolution, American Gothic, or Parsons. Mark knew that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's smashing it. Mm. Okay, what is that painting? What's it called? It's very famous. It is a very famous painting. Mm. It wouldn't be included on this quiz if it wasn't, Sarah. Let's mm. be honest. It's it's a quiz for the it's ages, so this one. Yeah, they're happy people. <laughs> they are very <laughs> That's like me this week, that does. Um, and the answer is American Gothic, as 47% of you mm. said. And Grant Wood was the painter here. What a fantastic tidbit of information I've put on there. Uh, Bourne McCormans in second, but first. 
but they are being caught by Paul. The Williams family have dropped down to third, Vic in fourth, the boss man in fifth. And it's the last pitch around question before we enter potluck territory, where it's basically fastest finger first. Fastest finger fastest. 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 You get a thrown off. Fastest. Who is this? Is it is it Lydia Lityovic, Jacqueline Cochran, Bessie Coleman, or Amelia Lockhart? Who is that? Who is that person in the front? Oh, Grundy's still there. This time. And the Herdman's are still there. Oh, yeah, we've still got everyone on. Just still 23, 23 is our limit, I think. You know, 23 we've had the last four weeks. Mm. So I'm going to try and break it next week if people want me to. Um, who is that? The answer is... Oh. Ah, I thought I'm most of you would get that right. 87% of you said Amelia Lockhart, and you are bang on. Right, we are entering the end game, as you say. 50 questions in an hour and five minutes of me waffling on, and we're on to the last five questions in what I believe is my best quiz yet. You can tell me if it is. You got a name wrong, Perrin said. You got her name wrong. I didn't. Amelia. Amelia. With a speed of Locker. around 80 miles per hour, which is the fastest roller coaster in the UK. Is it Rita King, of, Queen of Speed? No, he didn't. Stealth. Nemesis, Nemesis, or Oblivion. I've been on them all, but which one goes fastest? And I think it's just you can't speak, Perrin. Hmm. I can't oh, speak. Oh, 19 no. people. It's not. It's a million lap. No, it's not. Whatever. Don't criticise the quiz master. Earth Heart. Don't criticise Bruce or, or um, Bob Monkhouse. And the answer is Earth. stealth. And that is in uh, Thorpe Park. I am looking forward to getting back to a theme park. I do like a theme park. I just don't know how they're going to work. But, um, well, you do. Well, well, I do, but it sounds miserable. So I might just wait a year. Right. And the answer was stealth. And the Bourne Commons are still le leading. And they are taking a bit of a lead now over the Williams family with only four questions left. They can still be caught. But they've almost got this one tied up. How many millilitres are there in a standard pint? Is it 500, 656, 568 or 608? And the answer is... Baron says they're both dead. And the answer Sorry, is... Sorry, we were just wondering what Adam's doing. just wondering doing. what Adam's doing. It's fine. The answer is, um, as I should think a lot of you get this right, as a whopping 65% of you said it's 568 millilitres. The Bourne Bacalman's in first, Paul in second, Williams family third, Vic in fourth, Boss Man still in fifth. It is very tight still between first and, I'm sorry, from second and third. But first, I think I've almost got this tied up unless they drop off the cliff in the last three questions. So, question 53. Oh. Coming up. What is the most common colour of toilet paper in France? So, which do the French like is, wiping their bottoms with? Is it grey, cream, funny, white so. or pink? Very, very common So, question. which... Uh, what, when Parisian people reach for the toilet roll, which do they take a segment off and wipe their mucky bottoms with. Paul says brown. Paul says brown. Well, Paul, you are immature. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That isn't even one of the... Um... All right. I'm getting a lot of grief. It was Amelia, all right? Um, it's pink, as 26% of you said. Amelia um, Lockhart. Let's, just, let's just ask, where is Alan in this quiz? Yeah, where is Alan in the oh. quiz? Oh, oh, Vic is in fourth. Oh, Julie disagrees. Oh, George disagrees. Oh, I can't cope with all this. All right, it was Amelia. All right. The overall, the answer was right. Don't, you know, I'll, I'll just walk out. I think this is a colour question. I'll pause the quiz and that'll be the end of it. Where is the only place a unicorn can find peace? Is it in the I lap really of a virgin? Was... Is it in the Garden of really Eden? Was, is it in the at the end of a rainbow or is it the gates of Olympus? What? Uh -huh. Where can a unicorn hmm. find peace? Hmm. Oh, where, oh, I know where that, this is, I think. 
<laughs> Random question. Hmm. And the answer is, <laughs> as 13% of you said, it's in the lap of a virgin, which tells me a unicorn could have found peace in my lap till I was 26. There you go. YouTube <laughs> revelation. <laughs> Until some happy. wicked woman <laughs> took it from me. And unicorns could no longer find peace on my lap. How awful for them. <laughs> anyway, last question coming up. Too much beer. I have had too much beer. <laughs> okay. Well, isn't, that is what it is, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what is Postman Pat's surname? Clifton, Peyton Jones, Pat or Thompson? This quiz has gone downhill. Well, that's not very nice. Um, Georgina's is laughing. Well, I just, I waited, Georgina. That's what I did. Um, what is Postman Pat's surname? <laughs> this is the final question. Why is most more people bothered about my revelation rather than the class question? What is Postman oh, yes. Pat's surname? It is... Clifton, as 52.2% of you said, I will not announce the winners until the top 10 appear on my screen. George is still laughing. Oh, Elliot's trying. Oh, no, sorry. He knows you're trying. Thanks, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, in a second. Eight, five, four. Okay, the top 10 in reverse order. Oh, and we are going Here we in go. In 10th is Yep, which I believe is Malcolm. And Lisa. And Lisa, yeah. The Hermans in ninth. Spillsby Hermans in eighth. So the Her Spillsby Hermans again beat the Hermans. So even though they didn't weren't anywhere near the top this week, they do have the Herman trophy. Phil Muggerson, well done. You're stuck in there in seventh. Caroline in sixth, always there. The boss man in fifth. Vic, fourth. Third was Paul, the Williams family in second. And in first place, people who listen far too much to me is the Bournemouth Colmans. Well done. As there wasn't many Richard questions this Boy. week, that's not too bad. Does anyone want to put in the comments where they finished if they weren't in the top 10? That would be great. I see Monica's got 181, which Just is sure. very, very close to the top 10. So well done for that. Well done. Um, I know some people have a massive issue with the media. Lock our ear heart uh, question, and you really need to get over yourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, why I've just watched my team be de demoralized on the first day back, um, and you know, we all make mistakes. Um, the Herman family came back from 21st, it was just too late. Yes, uh, Vic has said oh. hello, Charlotte. Yes, she is. Um, so yeah, that was the eighth Bomber quiz, um, and it's been great. And 19 of you have joined me. On YouTube, which is amazing. Uh, Georgina has just sent her result over. And I'm not going to tell you it because I'm not that nasty. Okay. Uh, Monica, so thank you. Well done, to Monica, for coming 11th. Um, well done, Georgina. You did well. You know, you took part. That's all that and matters. And she drank wine. And she drank lots of wine. Oh, uh, what Herman what said that was the best quiz yet. Ooh. And, well, thank you. As soon as you came eighth, that's a big compliment. And I'm also shocked that 19 of you are still watching despite it all finishing. Um, so Helen says, see you next week. So I guess <laughs> I guess that means um, Sarah staying up again? I I'm doing it again next week. So um, of course <laughs> wow. I am. I'm here for the long haul. I'm here at least for the next two weeks, maybe longer. Let's be honest. Maybe four <laughs> more quizzes. Uh, mm. There was uh, 23 they people and mm. they all mm. did very well. And thank you so much. For joining in again, if you want another, of course I will do. <sighs> right, Tyler, what year did Australia gain their independence? It was in about the 1906, I believe. But the last part of their independence was given away in 1986, like my question said. I can't cope with this. You know, oh, 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 Charlotte to co-host next week. She's. She already does. Look, she's always on my shoulder. I mean, yes, if you want. She, she had a phone call. If you wanted to read. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'll exit on Friday. Now. Yeah, if you wanted to read the questions out next week, that's fine with me. I mean, you can't have a go at a six-year-old, or maybe you can. You are a lot. <laughs> Thank you, said Tyler. Yes. <laughs> so you obviously didn't believe me, but now you do. Well, it's up to you. Um, right, I'm going oh. now. But thank you all. Oh, my God. She still can't get over the unicorn, Monica. 
Yeah, well, is <laughs> <laughs> so, the word it. gets around? I own it. You own a unicorn. Um, <laughs> right, I'm going now because I'm just getting abuse, and I don't need it. I hope you've enjoyed tonight, and I, I thank you, twenty three. 23 people of you, thank you so much for uh, joining in because it's been great. <laughs> right, or maybe it is the house is torn apart. I don't know. All right, I, I thought I owned all the stuff. You know, I'm going to look right now. I'm going to look right. I'm sick of it. Um, stereo phonics albums. Okay. Just looking now. Your mum said she wasn't last. Their first studio album was The Word Gets Around, okay? So you can have a go at me all you like, but that is what it was. So I don't know. I don't know what the house was torn apart is, but it isn't right. This is, I'm not going, this isn't just me saying this. This is Wikipedia, all right? That is literally the truth. Everything Wikipedia says is true. I'm going to look for this strange name of album you've bought to told me. What was it, Sarah? Um, the, this house is torn apart. Oh, the comments are saying the toilet roll is definitely wrong. <sighs> this house. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, the toilet paper isn't wrong. It's pink. I've looked that up. And that was a Sarah question as well. So you're having to go at her as well. Uh, I meant this. Ha this house is. To I don't. The <laughs> oh, I can't go with this. <laughs> ah. Check it again. Check it again. <sighs> Thank you, Herman. That former is always a hundred percent correct <laughs> because it's a legend. That is all. Thank you, Herman. <laughs> Time for beer. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie to you, people. But I spent two and a half hours in some old lady's house today waiting for an ambulance. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it. All right, whether I got questions wrong or not, Amelia this, Amelia that. Oh, well, haters going to hate. Quite right, Vic. Um, <laughs> They're um, all in the top five, these people who are questioning. They, they, <laughs> I know. What is their problem? Right, right I, I'm going now. I've got beer to drink. It's been an hour and 17 minutes. It's the and best time ever. The kids are fighting. It's time to go. Thank you so much for joining in. I will see you next week of course i will for bomber's big quiz <laughs> the part one was correct no. No. it's nearly at part 10 oh my oh. goodness and bye yeah, see, thank you everyone for watching bye. see you next week <laughs>